making sense of a tragedy, but above all celebrating two people that lived extraordinary lives. Rosalie Bloch and Aubrey Jackson met later in their lives and spent more than 30 years together. Bloch was an attorney and activist and among others an active member of the Black Sash. She offered her home as a refuge and meeting place to activists and detainees. Her children and grandchildren gave moving tributes, speaking of their mother's sense of justice, which she instilled in all of them. With her partner, Jackson, they shared beliefs and a lust for life that earned them a great number of friends from all walks of life. We are here to pay tribute to them for being upstanding citizens who led by example in the lives they lived, to us, their children, to their families, to their friends, their colleagues, and indeed to society, as we stand in horror at the brutality and the callousness with which their lives were stolen from them, they unite us even more in their death. They bring out the best, the very best in us in so many ways. The family expressed their deep hurt and anger, but vowed to continue their legacy. Our hearts are broken, but we will not break. We will not hate you. That would be the last thing my mother and Aubrey would want. What my mother and Aubrey would want is for us to build a caring society where the poor and the marginalized, the sick and the homeless, the landless and the exploited are cared for, are included, are important. Trevor Manuel says their deaths should give rise to deep reflection on the collective moral sentiment in the country. In his tribute, struggle stalwart Dennis Goldberg said life and its meaning is service to others. We have to be part of building what is new and what is right for South Africa and condemning those who violate our constitution with their racism every day. It's not about being black, it's about being human beings. It's about being black, colored, Indian, Asian, whatever, and whatever religion. That's what our constitution enjoins us to do. Bloch and Jackson remained curious and active to the very end, despite their high age. Between them, they leave behind a family of more than 20. Mariska Boota, SABC News, Cape Town.